Chooks Joseph is uh, his name. He's right here with us, the fast uh, becoming a household favorite right? in the industry. Now, Chooks has been making waves with his captivating roles and undeniable screen presence. So we'll be talking about his journey this morning, yeah. the Nollywood scene. Yeah. Uh, most especially what's next for him. So we take it one after the other. It's good to have you in the studio with us. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> Chooks yeah. Joseph. Yes. There are so many sides to you. Yeah. There's the actor, the model. Yeah. Uh, the pageant which one should boy. The pageant boy. <laughs> Mr. Ideal Nigeria yeah. for yeah. Earth. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the first like run out in 2020. Yeah. 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 So, so many sides to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you this one first. Yeah. Which one is dearest to you? Um, okay, I think acting is, is, is my life right now. It's my core. Mm. Every other thing just bounces off it. Mm. Yeah, mm. So it. acting is something you like so much that you attended three different academies. <laughs> uh, it was at um, Ebony Ebony Life. Life. Yeah. You were also um, at... Uh, Royal Arts. Uh, yeah, yeah. Royal Arts. Africa and then, master yes, class. the oh, master wow. class. Yeah, yeah. because I never had... Um, arts background i studied microbiology oh, right. so when i decided to come into film and entertainment i just thought to myself i would um i need training mm -hmm. to be up there so yeah. i just told myself i needed to get trained why so, film though why film um i i get to ask myself that same question all the time i think film just chose me Film, film chose you. Yeah, nice. yeah, it chose me because All right. I, I never thought I would do it, but here I am today. But, 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 okay, so it chose you, yeah. meaning what? Like, what, what was your first audition like? Because, I mean, if it chose you, that means you probably weren't thinking that direction. I kind of stumbled yeah. into it. So my first audition, I was at my friend's house. I heard people were going for an audition. Mm -hmm. I've always just wanted to try acting mm -hmm. at that time mm -hmm. because it was just around when COVID was just, um, you know, getting yeah. the wave was. I just followed them to the audition and it happened. I got called. I'm like, OK, I could first. try this. Yeah, oh, nice. I wasn't even an actor when I got um, that first role on Flatmates. Oh. I just told myself, OK, if I could get this role without being an actor why not try it yeah and i tried it and i loved it i got training mm -hmm. i got cast i enjoyed the process and i've always loved watching films mm -hmm. so watching films and now about to start making films it was just like an epiphany mm -hmm. to me okay this is how this thing is made yeah. i just is it is you know how you fall in love with something and that thing becomes your entire life oh, that's yeah. that's what happened yeah, so your modeling career is also something that spans across a, a period of time yeah how did you get into that same thing a friend was like <laughs> you look no, like <laughs> yeah a, fr a friend was like yeah you have a good body you have this that okay why not try mr ideal i tried it around um the same, same time COVID. 2020 wow. covid yeah. yeah i was like okay yeah let me let me try this thing and it happened and i just did it and i came i came up as the first runner up and that was actually how I got into rare arts because it was part of the package I won. Oh, yeah. amazing. So you actually even kind of aligned, aligned with the acting with that everything. you had already fallen yeah. in love with. Amazing. So now, would you ever try pageantry again? Just yeah. Uh, okay, now that, that was a very quick answer. Maybe not really. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's hard. I, I asked because we literally just had the auditions for Mr. World Nigeria. No, okay, yeah, yeah, that's my friend. Please, guys. That's um, your friend. And I'm rooting for my uh, friend David Ayo uh, is going. Oh. But it's stressful. David's an actor as well. Yeah, yeah, it's it's stressful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't think I have the capacity for that. But maybe you never can is tell. Is it more stressful than acting? I was about to say that. Okay, like, so, so, so here's the thing. Acting, you're involved in the process of something. Mm -hmm. You're living someone else's life at that point. Yeah. It's... It's stressful, but it's interesting. Mm -hmm. But pageant is actually uh, stressful. It's, it's very, very it like you're, you're working on the stage. People <laughs> are booing or clapping. Yeah. There are other people. You, you the might, pressures are different. It's, it's, yeah, just, it's life pressure. A lot. It's okay, a lot. amazing. So now, um, um, so I literally was going through the movies you've actually acted, right? And they're meeting you in person. The personalities they pick you for. <laughs> There's a contrast. There's yeah. a sharp yeah. contrast. Yeah. Why do you think they give you that notorious roles in movies? Okay, I wouldn't exactly say they give me notorious roles. I've just acted some notorious roles. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And um, it's just, I think, when you come to an audition room, mm -hmm. these directors and casting directors, they have what they are looking for. And when they see it, it's now left to me to bring in an element of me in it. Um, yeah, I can be this, then I can be that. Which so do you prefer? Do you prefer this or that? Oh, this is my default nature. Mm -hmm. I'm you're, you're quiet chill. and calm. But when I need to bring out the, 
psycho. Yeah, no, not psycho. <laughs> <I just laughs> when I need to bring out like the very active yeah, tunes active, that, yes. that comes out. Yeah. So you know the thing with actors is, yeah. of course, you have to, as you said, mm -hmm. take on the role of another person. Yeah. Which one would you say has been the most challenging for you? Because I must mention the fact mm -hmm. that you've been very fortunate mm -hmm. with the kind of roles you get. Mm -hmm. You've been like in everybody's face. Yes, yes. like lead like, or like you, this major You're role. always either getting the lead role yeah. or you're getting something that really we'll gives try. you a lot of visibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So which of these roles would you say has been the most challenging? The most challenging for me, I would say um, my first film, that my first feature film, the lead, the one I was a lead in, Dark October, I, no, I because, oh I my guess. day, yeah. uh, making that film was intense. Mm -hmm. It was intense, mm -hmm. the emotions, Everything involved in making it, um, the um, story that inspired it as well. Mm -hmm. It was just a lot. And it was my first time yeah. being a lead role. So the pressure was there, mm -hmm. you know, trying to give a believable performance. Everything was just, it was just so much pressure. Yeah. I'm glad it turned out the way it turned The out. way it did. Now, it was interesting that the pressure, we're talking about pressure on set now, yeah. because that was a movie that even still had pressure, even after, after. Uh, yeah. and all of that. So tell me, walk me through that experience. Where was your mind at? So was it one of those roles that stayed with you even after you were done and um, offset was getting out of that character was difficult concerning considering the controversy that came after it uh, okay getting out of the role i wouldn't say it was too hard but there are some roles you play that would never leave you never leave you. because that was the first time people get to see me in the big screen it came out on netflix everybody watched it till tomorrow people would always still remember me for that character <laughs> and it's something i'm very grateful for because you know, sometimes you could do something and in, in the next couple of months, everybody has moved on. But till tomorrow, I have someone just walk up to me. Oh, my God, you made me cry. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So that's a blessing on its own. Then around what happened um, before it came out and after it came out, those are the things that happen with films because yeah. filmmaking is a very subjective art. Mm -hmm. So it's from each and everyone's perspective. So everyone has something to say. But... So far, it's it's been it's been it's been great. The reception has been great, right. despite you know some controversies and things around it. All right, like so, people could see through the performance. Mm -hmm. Looking at your career as a whole, yeah. what would you say has been the highlights and the low moments? Let's start with the low moments. Low moments. Uh, uh, low moments. I can't I can't exactly think of one right now, but I guess maybe days or months where you go without work. Okay. Because you know it's filmmaking. It's not all the time you're making film. Mm -hmm. So those moments where you do like a couple weeks, no you're not on set. And you see, I'm so in love with this thing. I want to do it every day. Oh, wow. So some days when I'm not on set I need to rest, but I, I well, always want just want to <laughs> work. Like, so yeah. those those are like the moments I might call low moments. Then the high moments are times like this when I get to like talk about my work, mm -hmm. when people get to interact with me. Mm -hmm. I see the impact my work has, you know, done on someone. It's just it's just amazing to see how we can just be in a particular set, make films about 20, 30 people, and it transcends to the whole world. Mm -hmm. And people get to watch it. You could see someone crying just yeah, because he acted true. something. Yeah, you could see someone very excited to see you mm -hmm. in person just because they've watched you on, on TV. So those are like the high moments for me. Oh. So now that low moment you talked about, yeah. what do you do during those intervals? So are there other things you venture into or... For you, it's just acting for now. Um, so, like, I, I do other things on the side. I, I'm kind of a financial analyst. Maybe not uh -huh. too big. Yeah. Trade Forex here and there. Oh, but okay. moments like that are moments I used to rest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Learn more. Yeah. I, I'm such a YouTube warrior. I'm always on YouTube watching <laughs> one thing or the other. Oh, that's good. I try as much as possible to spend time with family there. Then I find one thing or the other to do. I always like being active and getting my hands on something. Yeah. But when I have to rest in moments like that, I take my time to rest, mm. chill, because sometimes you can get burnt out from working and being mm. on set. Mm. Oh, that's good. I love your energy. Else yeah. that we have what that you warm like for you. What right do I now? like to cook? <laughs> Don't laugh. I like to cook beans. beans. Right. I just knew it. Yes. No, I see, I am such a beans guy. Yeah. All right, so chef. When it comes to we have rice for you, in the, and we have a little type of beans there, yes, right? The black beans. Black right? beans. Yeah. So, so we have green beans. rice and a yeah. black bean sauce right there in the kitchen, okay. and we'd like for you to come with us. All right. So you can literally have a bite at breakfast. All right. Okay. Black eye.